Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I have a wonderful shoe for you guys. It's um, basically gemstones and glue in a flower pattern. Normally I have like an outline or an idea of what I want to do before I actually start working on the shoe. In this case, it kind of just all flowed organically. I mean, I didn't really have a plan on what type of colors or arrangements or anything that I wanted to do. I just literally had a bucket full of gemstones and glue and so this is what I came up with and I hope you enjoy the video. The first thing you will need is a pair of shoes. The next thing you will need is rubbing alcohol, cotton balls, acrylic gemstones, and the gemstones I bought came in like a super pack where you got a pound of gemstones for $16. It came in a variety of shapes, colors, and sizes. And then next you will need a bottle of tacky glue. You just need to make sure that it says it, it dries clear. And the next thing you will need is sandpaper. And lastly, a pick-me-up tool. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get your sandpaper and... first but then to fill in the smaller spaces you want to use the smallest gemstones you have available and also what end up happening is is that I would have just really small sections and so I would make like half flowers where I would put one center stone down and then like one or two petals around it and if that's all that could fit then that's all that could fit but you really want to cover as much of the shoe surface as you can You do want to take breaks and step away from the shoe because it needs time to dry. You don't want to work on one section and then flip it over and start another section because what's going to happen if you place the shoe in an awkward position, the gemstones are going to slowly start sliding off. So you want to make sure that you leave it flat and on its side until that side has completely dried before you turn it over and start working on another side. Now for the heel of the shoe, I just basically took the white gemstones and the smallest size in the white gemstones and I began to place them on the heel of the shoe. And I started from the bottom and I worked my way up. So anyway guys, that's all. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you next week. Here is a preview of the shoe that I'm working on for next week. Bye guys.